With this video, I will give a quick overview of Movie Recorder 4, including the geography of its UI and a short description of some of its major features. For more detail in setting up and using Movie Recorder, see the other videos in this series. This is the user interface. On the left you have the source and destination panels. In the center you have the viewers and recording controls. And on the right you have the scheduling and VTR control panels. Let's start with the sources. There are three types of sources, as you can see. Local sources are the sources that are directly connected to the computer. Here you will see all the sources from AJA, Blackmagic Design, or M-Family devices that you have connected in Thunderbolt to your Mac. NDI sources are sources using NewTek's NDI Video over IP protocol. Remote controlled sources are those generated on other movie recorder applications running on other computers. This allows you to control multiple applications from just one computer. All the sources available in this pane, either local, NDI, or remote controlled, can then be assigned to any of the viewers in the viewer area. Source settings can be modified by clicking on the gear icon. For example, if you are using an external audio source, you can set it up here. To start using any of these sources, just tick the checkbox on the left. As you can see, the source will appear in the first available viewer. Notice that in the center of the viewer there is a warning stating that no destination is enabled. In order to record, you must set up one or more destinations. To do so, click on the destination panel. This is where you will set up the formats in which you would like to record, the location of the recorded file, and other specific settings in how the video will be recorded. By clicking on the gear icon, you may adjust the settings for that destination. Notice the edit while in jest area. Edit while in jest is a very useful component of Move Recorder 4. With it you may create a growing file that you can import into your favorite video editing software and you may start editing a file even as it is being recorded, saving a great deal of time on post-production. Notice as well the great number of codecs available in Move Recorder 4. You may also modify these codecs through user-created presets. If your ingest feed contains closed captioning, you can capture that data here as well by clicking this box. And here, under Auto Split, you may set Movie Recorder to automatically start a new file at a specified duration. There will be no lost frames when doing so. Movie Recorder 4 can trigger Apple Scripts when the recording starts or stops. This can be useful for many scenarios, such as controlling a video router or other third-party device. This really opens up the realm of possibilities available to Movie Recorder. You can create additional destinations by clicking on the plus sign on the bottom of the panel, and you may create either QuickTime or MXF wrappers. You may create any number of destinations. Before you can record, you must ensure that you enable one or more destinations like this. Now let's turn our attention to the viewers panel, where we observe and control our recordings. Each viewer displays the input from a source, and you may open as many viewers as you would like. The only limit to the number of sources you may record is the power of the Mac itself. You can easily rearrange the layout of your viewers, such as by dragging and dropping one viewer into another viewer's space, switching the two. The recording controls are standard for ingest products, with record, pause, and stop. In the classic mode of edit while ingest, as well, you may manually split the file by holding down the option key and clicking on the scissors button. Once you begin recording, a green timer button appears. Here you may set a duration for the recording in hours and minutes, or you may set a stop time for the recording. Make sure to click apply to save the timer settings. You may also gang record multiple sources at the same time through the controls at the bottom of the viewer panel. While recording, time code is displayed here on the upper left corner of the viewers, while the duration of the recording is displayed here to the right. For time code sources, you may select the Mac clock, an audio LTC source, or a time code systems device. You may do so here in the preferences panel. While we're here, let's take a look at some of the other features available to Move Recorder 4. In the General tab, you may enable the application to remotely control Move Recorder from another Move Recorder application or via a REST API. Next to the General tab is the AV Presets tab. Here you can modify existing presets to create your own presets, altering audio channels, overlaying text or images, or adding other effects to the codec. Here you would set up metadata that you would like included in the recorded files. Here you may select an attached GPI commander for switcher control, and here you may set the path for any Apple scripts that you would like to use with Movie Recorder. Once you have everything set up the way you would like, you may save the configuration here in the Movie Recorder menu. 
You can save as many configurations as you would like and recall them at a later time. You can also send the configuration file to another move recorder if desired. Now let's look at scheduling recordings, which is set up on the panel to the right. You can set recordings to start on certain days of the week, or you can set them to start on specific dates. You may create as many scheduled recordings as you wish. Finally, Movie Recorder 4 also has VTR control and batch capture capability, very useful for archiving videotape libraries and converting them into digital format. And that's Movie Recorder 4 in a nutshell. There are numerous videos discussing the features in more detail, so be sure to visit us at softron.tv for more.